Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fern and today I thought it would be cool to do a little product review. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing for a cool backpack I just picked up. However, um, you know, no box. Uh, got this backpack off of Amazon and, you know, just came in like the clear plastic wrap. So, uh, cheap bastards. <laughs> it's only one of the richest companies in the world, but can't afford a two cent box. Sad. So... Anyway, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to do an unboxing thing. It's not in a box, just in a clear plastic wrap, which I didn't even bother to have taken off and whatnot. So let's get into it, guys. Uh, so for a lot of barbers uh, out there, we you know, cut hair in the shop and whatnot, but also we cut a lot of hair outside of the shop as well. We do house calls, we do events, do on-site weddings, all that stuff, you know, some, you know, do classes at uh, other salons and barber shops and whatnot. Uh, actually, for myself personally, I have uh, a couple classes coming up at my old hair school uh, next month, which is pretty awesome. So uh, I was just rocking an old like messenger bag that I had. It got the job done. I mean, it wasn't anything fancy. Just throw everything in the big bag. Just, you know, kind of call it a day and whatnot. So I was looking to upgrade my game and my setup and whatnot. Something a little, you know, flashier that looks nice, but then also is a bit more functional there than just like messenger bag. Or just, you know, putting stuff back in and forth and whatnot. So... Um, there's a lot of stuff that's out there, which I think is good and it's, you know, definitely a lot functional and looks pretty awesome and whatnot. However, the thing is, are you ready to make that kind of a commitment to that big of an investment? There's a big, uh, backpack out there from Babylon, which I think is like 169 bucks or something like that. Not crazy, but I mean, again, guys, you know, not for nothing for a backpack, it's a little expensive. Also, uh, there's another backpack out there from uh, GMP Bro, which um, I initially was gonna get, I think, I mean, again, for my, for personally, my needs right now and everything, I think it's a bit much of an investment. So, um, you know, everyone kind of has a different idea of what they need at, at a current time and whatnot. And for right now, it just doesn't suit my needs. So I don't quite need something like that. So I just hopped on Amazon and I just typed in barber bag. Uh, for clippers and whatnot and uh, the particular brand that I got there's like I don't know probably five to ten models that all pretty much look the same and I think uh, you know it's probably about all the same backpack just with a different cover and whatnot so uh, enough blabbing let's get into the actual review itself and this is the backpack I got uh, overall guys I gotta say I mean it's not you know the smallest backpack I've ever had, definitely not the biggest, but overall, I think it looks pretty good as far as comparison. You know, it's about a foot wide, it's about a foot and a half long. Not exactly sure the dimensions of it. I'd say, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, when it's like all stretched out inches across. So, you know, not too, too bad. Um, guys, the straps on this thing seem pretty, pretty solid, you know. Got the nice little pulley system down here to adjust and whatnot. I do like the fact that it's got these little clip things down here. For the backpack that makes it look just kind of cool you got your standard uh little what do you call it uh spray bottle thing over there got another pouch over here for actual water bottle or drink or something like that with another thing um unfortunately there's no little pockets on the front of this thing some guys like that some guys don't personally i like if it has like a little bit more kind of front pouch kind of stuff just makes it easier just to pull stuff and whatnot you know um, as far as the main compartment of this thing, you know, here, I'll kind of show you guys. This is it. This is where you're going to hold your blow dryers, your bulky uh, product lines, all your excess uh, 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 clipper charging stands, uh, you know, cords, you know, like bulkier canisters for product and whatnot. I guess if you guys want, you could probably throw like a laptop or something back here. So overall, there's a pretty good amount of space. I mean, this thing does, you know, actually kind of fold out a bit. So really not too bad. Um, I would definitely say, I mean, again, this is more than enough room for personally my needs, which is great. Uh, some guys, you know, they rock a lot of stuff and, you know, this may or may not be a thing for you. However, for myself personally, this is a pretty good bag. So let's, uh, let's get into the meat potatoes of the actual bag. The front flap does fold all the way down which at the moment the zipper is kind of stuck on there there we go okay so it folds down and ta -da! lots of compartments i think for again my personal setup this is going to be pretty good 
just kind of back and forth bag, just kind of a, you know, again, like nothing crazy, but just, you know, a good bag just to store stuff and whatnot. Looking at it in reverse on the camera, so it's gonna be kind of <laughs> hard to describe some stuff. So it looks like down here, guys, is where you're gonna be storing your clippers. Uh, looks like you got a slot for a scissor here, a slot for a scissor there. You got this pouch up here. I don't know, maybe throw like your guards up here, some combs, something like that. On the bottom, it looks like all these slots over here that you could probably use for uh, the duckbill comb or uh, the duckbill, uh, what do you call it, hair uh, clips and whatnot. Got a little pouch up here. Maybe throw some combs in there. Yeah, this stuff looks like it's. Yeah, you could probably throw some scissors in there. Let's say, oh, this is a cool little pouch they got right there. So, yeah, overall, guys, I mean, again, really not too terrible. I figure we'll grab some stuff, kind of load this thing up together, see what it's got and whatnot. So, all right, first things first, and most importantly, let's do some of the clippers, right? Okay, so, Oster Octane, this is my largest clipper that I got. This thing, oh yeah, no problem. Fits right in there. As you guys can see, got plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room, totally awesome. All right, so I have four clippers, guys, and two trimmers. So let's kind of throw, all right, let's see, let's do, uh, okay. So pretty standard Babilis custom effects. This is also a big clipper. So I just kind of want to see how these feel in here. And yeah, you got definitely a lot of room in there. So that's good. All right, so let's throw a trimmer in there. Okay, so guys, got the absolute hitter from Stylecraft. Now this is a little bit of a smaller trimmer and detailer. So I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. Okay, <laughs> so that is uh, definitely <laughs> uh, in there. Not super secure, but it's in the same pouch as the Oster Octane. So I don't think it's gonna go anywhere per se. I'm a, kind of a little worried about that. Maybe just snagging or whatever, just kind of getting in the blades. But you know, overall, I think it's okay for where it is. All right, and then we have the also Babilis trimmer. So let's throw Babilis with Babilis. Okay, and that one fits much more securely in there. All right, so as you guys can see, like I said, kind of the meat and potatoes of this, you know, obviously your clippers are your, probably your biggest investment as far as getting the job done. So you got a lot of room for all this stuff with the exception of the absolute hitter down here. So it is just kind of falling just right at the secure band right there. Might be a little bit of an issue for some people. Uh, for myself, like I said, I'm not super stoked on that, but it's doable. All right, and then just for ha-has, got the Apex. Let's throw it in here, see what we got. Okay, yeah, plenty of room. So yeah, guys, overall, I mean, again, I think as far as like storage for this stuff goes, it's really not too, too bad. One thing I do wanna do, just to kind of show you guys what this would look like, because I'm curious myself, is if you're still using corded clippers I have a corded masters over here what this would do okay let's see what's the best way to probably do this is I think if we put cords down here kind of come up from behind okay all right so yeah so check it out guys that's a Corded and it's master right there. All the cord is right down here. I mean, it does take up a bit of the bulk of the pouch down here. However, that clipper is pretty nice and secure in there, I gotta say. So if you have cordless stuff, I mean, obviously, you know, I think it's more, kind of more geared towards that. If you do have corded clippers still, you could definitely still secure it and whatnot. I don't know, when I do house calls, typically I do kind of bring my corded stuff just because I know the battery's not gonna die out on me and whatnot. If you're doing like a St. Baldrick's event where you're gonna be shaving a lot of heads or something like that for an extended period of time. Um, I mean, again, the way that the uh, batteries run on cordless stuff now, I mean, you have plenty of time to probably do what you gotta do and be fine, you know? 
but if you want that little extra security of you know the thing not dying on you and you want to throw a cordless thing uh, into your backpack. I would say as far as the excess supply down here, I think it's pretty good. All right, so that's for the clippers, guys. Uh, let's see, let's check out some shears. So I have six and a half Hunt and Hustle shears. Let's throw these guys in here, see what this looks like. Oh yeah, plenty of room. So that's with the six and a half shear, guys. The tip is kind of coming down here a little bit behind the Babilis clipper, which, you know, again, I think it's secure overall to be like not too bad of an issue or anything like that. As long as your bag doesn't kind of get too banged around or whatever, it should be fine. And on this side, let's get in there. Okay. This is a, this is a five and a half shear, also from Hunt and Hustle. I'm gonna be doing a review on these guys also not too far away and yeah perfect perfect guys yeah so if you have bigger shears you may not want to throw this thing in there this is definitely like an optimal size for that and whatnot even if you have a clipper over here i think it's just kind of barely going to be hitting the top of the blades and stuff so it won't get too dinged up or anything all right so that's cool now all right thinning shear this is for ha ha's let's see kind of what that looks like Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's definitely awesome. All right, and I think, yeah, for over here, I mean, you know, again, I'm not gonna take everything out just cause you guys kind of get the general idea, but, oh uh, yeah, you got, I mean, I only throw two guards in there, but you got plenty of guards up here. Plenty of room for guards up there. That's awesome. Bottom flap, like I said, guys, I'm not gonna go through everything and load it up just cause it's gonna be too much of a pain just to kind of take and break down my station and whatnot. But yeah, if you throw your clips in here, I think that's pretty awesome. And then again, you have like these nice little flaps down here, which you could definitely throw for excess blades, guards and whatnot. Here, I'll just real quick throw a comb in here just to kind of see what that looks like. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. See that? Perfect. So. And even up here, all right, well, that's a little big for combs. But yeah, you could definitely load this up with combs or like I said, like the duckbill hair clips. I think that's perfect for there. So all in all, guys, I gotta say, this is definitely a good investment for 30 bucks. And you know, again, it's kind of got the nice little barber stripes over here. That's why I picked this one in particular. Like I said, I wanna kind of class it up a little bit, not just be like a backpack, you know? So, and I think that's kind of cool. So like flap comes down, you got your whole workstation over there, easy to, you know, take stuff in and out and whatnot. Like I said, you got plenty of room back here for all your cords and, you know, charging stations and all that, depending on your setup. So overall, I mean, again, I'm going to be taking this on the road with me in a month or so. We're going to kind of do, you know, a little, uh, just, you know, review on like how well it holds up and whatnot. But overall, guys, I got to say for $30 off of Amazon, this is a pretty solid backpack. I definitely like it. Even with the four clippers in here and whatnot, it definitely added a little bit of weight to it, but it's nothing crazy or anything like that, you know? So there's definitely a lot of options out there as far as traveling and whatnot. I think I just recently uh, flew out to California to go visit my sister and I happened to notice, you know, with TSA, like they kind of changed like a little bit of the regulation size for stuff. This will absolutely fit as a carry on. You definitely don't have to check this bag. Um, and I think that's a great option to have because some of the other backpacks that are out there for traveling, you know, barbers and stylists and whatnot, they are kind of big, you know, so. You could probably get away with this as a carry-on. This you could absolutely definitely do as a carry-on. And this way you got your stuff is not banging around, you know, the plane or anything like that. So overall guys, like I said, I mean, again, 30 bucks on Amazon, solid choice. I'm definitely happy with it. And there's options out there. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for and what upgrades you want to do to your whole setup and whatnot. For myself personally, this probably is going to be perfect for myself and my needs as far as what I use on the road and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I just think overall, you know, again, you gotta kind of do what's within your price point and what it is that you're looking to invest in yourself. So, you know, there's options, like I said, just kind of choose what's uh, perfect for you. That's kind of the fun of everything, you know what I mean? Just kind of see like what's cool and what's not, you know? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and happy cutting. Take care.